decided to take my science into this extreme ecosystem. And so to me, it's always been this um, incredible place that I study and think about, and that leads to my professional connection, which is studying this changing lake system over the last 25 years. And so I have this lens by which I've watched things change um, as we monitor the changes. And about five years ago, I started speaking out about what was going on with increasing salinity. And, um, and then in 2020, I co-wrote the obituary for the lake, <laughs> which may seem it was supposed to be a lens from the future, though it may seem a little premature. Um, so that's my connection, both personally and professionally. Um, maybe, Kim, we could start with you. Sure. Um, well, despite being born and raised in Salt Lake, my appreciation for the lake didn't really start until I began working at the Department of Environmental Quality about 20 years ago. So I'm, I'm a late comer as well. But um, through through that lens, um, you know, we permit um, all of the direct discharges into the lake. Uh, about 10% of the water flowing into the lake is coming from um, municipal wastewater treatment plants. And so that's one of the most significant sources um, that, that we regulate. And through that, um, I, I gained an appreciation for the lake for its unique um, e ecological <laughs> uh, systems there, um, as well as the um, economic importance. Over $1 billion um, in, in our economy is driven by the Pay for their bills. Can U.S. Open? Going into labor. The Natural Health and Wellness Conference is good for it. Just past 9 o'clock, FM 100. of what's coming and check out your next adventure by the latest gear meet the expert mm -hmm. 